guys, welcome to our new apartment. We finally moved. I am so excited and also missing the old apartment already. I want to talk to you about this little thing called Vizan. Um, I have been taking this for six months now so I thought you know six months is enough time to um, decide if I like it or not. I have discovered that I have endometriosis in 2010 uh, so it's been seven years now. Every single year I would go to the doctor, go back to the doctor and say please give me something else. I don't want to take the pill for the rest of my fertile life. <laughs> I'm not fertile but you know what I mean. So I would always ask for, you know, is there something new? Is there something specific for endometriosis? And they would always say no, you just have to take the pill or get pregnant. <laughs> if I could get pregnant. I would have a long time ago. I think it was November of last year that I went to the doctors again and I told her, you know, I'm tired of taking the pill. With I would take the pill without a break, like non-stop, every single day. And then she told me about this, about Vizan. And I was um, curious about it. One reason um, why I decided to try it is that the um, I live in Switzerland and the health uh, my health insurance actually covers the costs of this medication for me. It did not cover the cost of the of the pills because the pills are not a medication for a disease. Uh, even though I was using them because taking the pills because of the endometriosis, but this one since it's a medication a specific medication for endometriosis, they cover the costs. It's a very expensive medication here. I think it is everywhere. So um, I decided to try it out because the costs were covered by my health insurance. So I am just going to tell you very quickly what, how I felt before with the pill and how I'm feeling now taking the Vizan and what I've decided if I am going to continue using this or not. So before with the pill, what I had is um, my skin was great. It looked really good. Uh, my hair was normal. I wouldn't have to go. I, I think I went like usually three days without washing my hair or two days without washing my hair. And that was very, that's very abnormal for me, but that, it was great. I loved it. Um, I would still get cramps. And I spotted the whole time, like almost, almost nonstop actually. But except for that, I, I, I don't think I felt anything else, anything different. Um, to me specifically, if you don't know our story, you can watch our story or video uh, that we made um, about our story, infertility story and adoption story. I'm going to leave the link down below. Um, in the description box but anyways we tried getting pregnant for four and a half years so to me personally taking the pill after that was a relief because I knew like even though for for this whole time during the these four and a half years I knew that I couldn't get pregnant I would still hope you know every month every cycle I would still hope that for some miracle I would I got pregnant I had gotten pregnant and with the pill I didn't have that hope anymore it actually helped me to to relax and to let it go and to think you know now with the pill it's really not going to happen so I can just forget about it because we did decide not to try try and get pregnant anymore um so to me it was also emotionally helpful if that makes sense <laughs> um and since i started taking the vizan i i think you know now it's been a couple of years now it's been 
five years now since we started the adoption process. To me, it's naturally hard to get pregnant. And with this, it's also harder because it stops you from ovulating, even though they say this is not a contraception. I think they just can't take responsibility for you know, using you using it as contraception, so it's not. Um, but it, I'm emotionally more stable now, and I can take this and not no other type of contraception, and and not think the whole time, you know, oh maybe I'm pregnant or whatever. So emotionally, I'm okay taking this. Um, the other symptoms, my skin has broken out. It's and it's kind of frustrating a little bit because for so many years now I had such beautiful skin and now I have this skin anymore. Oh, I've almost forgot to say, to mention, my skin was beautiful before, but because of the hormones, my skin was actually like a different color whenever I went in the sun and it wasn't a beautiful color. So I had that problem. Now I don't have that problem as much anymore, but my skin has broken out. My hair is oily again. I have to wash my hair every single day. My skin is oily, so that's, um, that's on the negative side of this medication. On the positive side though, there's something that to me is more important. I don't spot anymore. I can't remember the last time I didn't spot. It was so, so annoying. And now for these past few months, you know, it didn't take me long to stop spotting after I had begun taking this medication. So very, very big plus um, side of this medication. I'm not spotting. Um, what I think it's funny though is even though I don't have a normal cycle anymore, my body still reacts as if I did. I, I still get moody every month once a month and it's always in the same time so i know exactly what's happening um i don't get cramps anymore so that's good too but i get that you know i get anxious and irritated and emotional once a month it's like i'm preventing it from from working properly in a cycle but it still wants to have a cycle i I don't know, or a period. I, it's just weird to me. I don't understand these things, so I don't know. But overall, I'm very satisfied with this medication. I would recommend it. If you don't know about this, ask your doctor. It's worth it, um, at least to me. I know that everybody works differently. I will continue taking this medication because supposedly it can actually shrink your endometriosis. Um, you will always have endometriosis, but it can shrink the spots that you already have. So that is a very, very interesting thing to me. I've heard of people who are using this um, in preparation for an IVF, for example. You know, people who have endometriosis and they want to do IVF and get the best chance they, they can get with this treatment, so they take a few months, they take um, Vizen prior to the IVF and then they do the IVF. So it, it's, it just sounded very interesting to me because for once I was talking or hearing about a medication that is made specifically for the, the disease that I have, that is endometriosis. I hope it this helped you. I just wanted to let you know, you know, after six months now, I have um, how I feel about it. And I hope you got some information out of this video. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this, about, you know, whatever, just leave them down in the comments below. And um, I will get back to you and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.